All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the location of the ZBrush Virtual Memory Kachi file. As you can see down here, I rated the location of the ZBrush Virtual Memory Kachi file can now be changed, providing the performance improvement on system where the system drive is not the computer's fastest drive or running low on disk space. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you because um, it really doesn't describe how to do this. So I may not be 100% right or uh, accurate but it seems to work another thing is this is try at your own risk so if we want to change this drive um, what we need to do is let me go back here one is we're going to go into this Z documents and settings forward slash all users forward slash document then we got this folder here called the ZBrush data folder now to make things safe I zipped it up and have a backup copy in case something goes wrong. I'm going to open that folder up. And we got this virtual memory folder. This folder is empty because ZBrush is not running. This is the path that it's assigning it to. So now if we want to change the path here, um, before I do this I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to start ZBrush up. Okay, now we got it started up. I paused the video, then we're just going to hide this. And now we have a bunch of files in the memory here. Let's go ahead and set, shut ZBrush down. Now, if we open it up, you can see they're gone because it writes to disk and it deletes them when it's done. Now, here's the path that it's writing it to. Now, if I want to change the path, I'm going to go to start my computer well it's written to the C drive you can see I got 58.7 free space and C and my E drive got way more free space it's got 330 so I want it to write to the E drive all right I don't need to move this folder over here it will create one itself so I'm going to copy the E here open up this uh, zebra scratch disk path and paste it. Now let's see what happened here. There she goes. And we're going to close this and press yes for the changes. And just to make sure it's in there the right, we'll open it back up. Okay. So we're going to start up ZBrush. Okay, we got it started. I'll just minimize it here. And here's the original path. The folder is empty because it's no longer writing it to the C drive. It's writing it to the E drive. So if we open up the E drive, it created a virtual memory folder. And we have files in here. Now once I shut ZBrush down, that folder will be empty because it deleted some after ZBrush shuts down. Like I said, this is try at your own risk, and uh, and I, I'm fairly sure this is how it works. But anyway, thank you.